All right, I haven't done a little video in a while. I got some coming up. Um, I got to still need to edit, which maybe one day we'll we'll get to that. But uh, still in the editing process. But um, anyways, I thought I'd do a little video. I got a, a good comments on the video I did of my room tour. Um, so uh, and some people said I should do things more like that. And I used to have a video like this a long time ago. I think I showed all my video game consoles. I did it back in like 2008 with a webcam, um, which I believe is somewhere around there. It's, I think it's down there. It's the iToy webcam. I still have it. I used it once once in a while now. But um, I had it on a wire, and I couldn't take it very far, and I just showed the consoles I had at the time. Those consoles, however, I don't have anymore. Well, I do. Some I still do, but a lot of them, like my Genesis, I didn't have so I had to get them back again. So anyways, here's my current video game console collection as of um, whatever day it is today. Like the... One moment. As of January 13th, 2013. I'll go with that one. That's the video, that's today's date because I didn't know clue, but here's my console collection as of Today, excluding, um, I'm going to actually include all my other video game related stuff I have as well. Not the actual games, that's all over there and that's a whole nother story to go through, but we're going to do the related to video game stuff. But anyways, we'll start off with my, uh, my uh, console um, shelf over here. First thing I got here is my Sega Genesis, the high definition graphics one. Let's see, it's got the uh, EXT port right there. It's just currently hooked up to RF right now because that's all I had to do. That's all I have at the moment, but uh, it works uh, mainly because um, I, I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, here's my Sega Saturn. I currently don't have it hooked up at the moment because I don't have its video cord, but I have its power cord. I just don't have it hooked up. I do have a game for it though, and the controller. I just need a video cable, which will be coming up eventually. That's my Sega Saturn. Um, down here is the NES. This is one I've had for a long time, and I use quite often still. You see, it's hooked up to the uh, that side. The RF is now hooked up. The actual RF is this one, and yes, it is dusty. It was supposed to be dusted yesterday, but apparently, who someone didn't dust my room. Cool. You see, it's hooked up, and it works. And up to the right of the NES is the Nintendo 64. I actually bought this N64 off of someone uh, um, on YouTube, actually. Um, um, he just put up a video, actually, saying that he was selling this N64. And he was looking for offers, and I sent him a message saying, Hey, how's 20 bucks? And he accepted, and it came with all the cables, and I think one controller? I think one controller came with it. But there it is. It was perfect working condition and a nice deal. Um, down below there is the PlayStation Tail. Um, that's the fat one. I don't own slim PS2s because I just don't like them. So here's the fat PS2. Look at that. Geo works perfect. The disc reading is good. There's nothing in it right now, but I was using it yesterday actually. That's memory cards right there. And this one actually has. Let's see. It actually has the, uh, I don't know if you got that all right. I'll try and get back there. There it is. It's the uh, one with the Ethernet and all that. There it is. So it's got the network connection. Um, and right in there, it has a hard drive. So it is, it's got a 40 gig hard drive in there as well. So it is uh, it's a loaded PS2. Up to the right of the PS2 is, of course, the PS Uno. Some people refer to it as a PSX, but I will not refer to it as that because a PSX is an actual console from Sony. This is not a PSX. A PSX is a big white DVR box that plays PlayStation 2 games and has an operating system like a PS3. That's a PSX. This is a PlayStation. Just PlayStation. It's a PS. And there it is. And there's a game in it. The Grinch or whatever, I think. And it has like, this closing issue, you gotta like slam it down to close. And it's got a memory card that I picked up at a thrift store for like a couple, for like 50 cents. It's a uh, one megabyte. Excuse me, I have a bandage on my thumb. 
I, I sliced it yesterday. But uh, it's a one megabyte from Newbie or whatever. Newbie? Yeah, Newbie. And down below we have the old uh, GameCube with, um, what do we got in here? Super Smash Brothers Melee. I love the uh, GameCube, it's a good system. It's got a lot of good games on it. It's the GameCube memory card, an actual one. I don't know how many megabytes there are. I know they go by blocks, but whatever. I got four controllers for this, and actually got a little bit more games than I used to. I've been playing a lot of Mario Party with it, with friends. Um, and to the right of that is my most recent addition to my uh, console collection. It is the Sega Master System. Yeah, you can see it in all its glory and its power. I forget, is there a light on this? I don't think there, no, there is. I just don't think it's plugged in at this very moment. Because it's got a, it's, it's one of the ones with a big brick. I can turn that off. Um, and uh, I don't have all the room for all the big bricks back there because, like, this thing takes a big brick, and that thing takes a big brick, and that thing takes a big brick, and some of the things over here, one of the things over here, oh, there's a couple things over here that takes bricks, so it's, I just, I can't have it plugged in unless I get some more cords, and I don't have that. But there's my Sega Master System, it's in fully working condition, I got uh, three games in the box with the instruction manual, two zappers, and two controllers, so that was a pretty good deal, I thought. We'll move to the left over here by the telly, and I have my, well actually, this is not my most recent um, pickup, the Sega Master System. It is the Wii, actually. Yeah. I have a black Wii, and I never thought I'd uh, buy a Wii, but I saw what they could do, and I'll show you what I mean by what they could do. Oh, and as you can see, if I can turn my remote on here, there we go. Yeah. I got that, and then there's the loader. And then other stuff. There's another loader, but this one's been angry at me ever since I started using a different hard drive. Oops. But um, as you can see back here, if you get back here, connected to the Wii, is this here. This is a 750 gigabyte um, hard drive. It's a laptop hard drive. I just bought a cable that connects the SATA to the USB, so it's hooked up to there. And I'll go and try to click. Dang it. Too close. I'll launch from there. So I don't actually own any of the games on the disc. I actually bought it like this. It came with a 16 gigabyte um, stick. And I just got a message, didn't I? On Steam. Um, if it wants to launch. Oh, there it goes. There's CFG. I use this one because it... I don't have to unplug the hard drive to actually be able to load all the games, but there you go. Oops. There's the reason I have a Wii now, so I can do, because I saw it could do this. I mean, I heard you could do it, but I just never did it. And I, 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 I enjoy my Mario Kart and the parties. It came with this, I've never played it. And then these games, which are great, and that one's pretty fun. These ones, this one came with it, and I've added these ones to see what was the deal with them. They're kind of enter entertaining to an extent, but, uh, oh well, off. So there's the Wii. And down here's a little thing that allows me to connect all my little systems into one. One of them's disconnected right now. I have them labeled. I think this is a bad cable or something. Uh, but it switches between the cable and uh, the different modes automatically, so which is nice. Over here, in the darkness, is a PlayStation 1, or 3, sorry, PlayStation 1. And on top of it is a U-Draw tablet. This is a PS3. Take it out of there. This is my original PlayStation 3 right here. 
Um, this is an 80 gigabyte one with the chrome trimming, as you can see, and four USB ports. Focus on it, and it has the thing that opens up to the uh, all the expansion slots, and had an 80 gigabyte hard drive. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but uh, it's actually opened right now. There it is. You can see inside APS3. This one had the yellow light of death issue where it overheated and melted its guts out. And it has been repaired since, but I went to um, upgrade the so software on it and it uh, cancelled and it bricked itself. Um, so it's, uh, it's kind of uh, bricked at the very moment. And I didn't feel like dealing with it any further. And now I got a phone call interruption. Alright, I had a phone call there, and I turned on the lights because it was kind of getting dark. Um, but over here is actually my Atari Game Center. I don't have anything in it, as you can see, but it was just a kind of a neat collectible I haven't seen very often. And it was pretty cheap at a thrift store, so I thought I'd pick it up. And, um, above that is my actual PS3. The one that I use, there it is, it's a slim one, not my favorite. I like these ones better, but uh, what are you going to do? This is a 120 gigabyte one, and all that fancy stuff. It's hooked up to everything. That's for its audio, that's the TV, which apparently is like falling out. And it's not wired anymore, I just haven't took the cord out. Because I don't have my router down here anymore. Because I was having issues with the line, so now it's upstairs. But uh, yeah, that's the PS3 and where it stays. Above that is the audio system I use for the TV. Nothing really video game related. And up here is the some more Segas. Yeah, I just unplugged it because there's. This is the Sega Genesis um, 2, as they call it. It's a slim one. It's kind of hard to see in there, but it's got a cartridge in there. This is the six pack, which came with a bunch of games, as you can see. That's usually the one I use because I actually have an AV cable for this, and it's hooked up up there, I believe. But anyway, Sonic is in the way. Here's the Sega Dreamcast, which is also one of my favorite systems. It's got a piece of tape on it right now because it, it's being in it's being a kind of a poopy lately with playing games and we'll only actually read the discs if the disk drive is left open I got Sega GT in there right now like this if it's not all the way closed down but it's like left open slightly like that then it will play the games with no problem I mean once in a while I can get it to read the disc if the disc drive is down, but eventually like halfway in the game it'll like stop reading the disc and it's a problem. Which is a real shame because I love my Sega Dreamcast. I mean I got a lot of stuff for it over there, but I'll show you that in a bit. Or I've, sh I've shown that before, so I'm just going to show it. See, I, have, I got more than five uh, controllers and there's a bunch of VMUs in each of them. I even got like the rumble pack in this one. I love my Sega Dreamcast. Why do you have to be like this? Oh well. I guess as long as it plays it like that. Um, so that's about it for the consoles. Um, I guess this could count. This is my uh, PC. This is a gaming PC. As well as my MacBook too. Because, I mean... I got Steam on here. And there's my games. I use this for gaming too. So this, this counts. These are only the Mac compatible games. I got all my other 50 some other Steam games on this computer. Look, that's... Fancy two terabyte hard drive. Look at that. It's fancy. It's actually kind of updated. It's only got a dual core CPU at four gigs of RAM. Oh, talking too much. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've showed all my other video game related uh, collection stuff. For some reason, this is all messed up. There's the phasers for the uh, this is, uh, Sega Master System and the Zapper for the NES. There's all the Genesis games and 64 games. There's my Master System games, all on the cartridge. Saturn game, NES games, Dreamcast games down there. Um, NES controller stuff, GameCube, NES, Game Boys, 
Master System, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and 1. All the games up here. There's a Pikachu that's related. It's my big Pikachu. It's actually a backpack, but I don't use it as that. Um, but that's, that's video game related stuff. Over here on top of my speaker, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, it's kind of like a little see through type thing, and it's got like a picture of part of the game. This is a Yoshi. I picked this up a little bit ago. It's a little Yoshi. Because uh, Yoshi is probably my favorite uh, Mario character. So that's why I have Yoshi. Because I find him adorable. Um, and here's a Pac Man arcade machine tin. Actually, I had candy at it at one point, but I just mainly wanted it because it looked cool. Because it's an arcade machine cabinet. Um, I have a Ratchet and Clank figures up here. Um, and there's a bunch of Pikachus. There's a Pikachu and Sonic. And there's a Pidgeotto that fell and down. Stay. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. And then there's the little Nintendo mushroom that's had candy in it as well that was impossible to open. Um, and there is the Pikachu that I picked, purchased in San Francisco that I never took out of the box because it's all in Japanese. And I think that's cool. I eventually ended up scanning its barcode and it eventually went through somehow and it's apparently it like talks. It's like a little plastic thing that has a speaker on it somewhere. I forget where, but it, it, would, it like makes sound. See? Um... There's a poster of Jack and Dexter and Ratchet and Clank. Something I painted with Jack and Dexter. And there's a Ratchet poster. And then my average normal Jack and Dexter poster over there. And then there's the big arcade machine. My Neo Geo MVS. The four slot system. With Last Resort, Fatal Fury Special, and Samurai Showdown. Which you can see in here. There they are. Everything works on this, um, except for this button is not hooked up right now because it's um, it's disconnected from these little connectors. I have to like solder it on here somehow. Um, this button's kind of got a broken peg. I have to buy a new button one of these days. Um, but I did buy a new joystick. This one's a brand new joystick, as you may or may not be able to tell. There's the one that. Came on. I had an, I have I have the other one somewhere, but it wouldn't. If you went this way, it wouldn't work. Um, but as you can see under here, it's like brand new, and I have it all labeled so I can uh, hook it up. That one's a bit older, but it's the two were that were on here when I bought it um, were different from each other. So I mean, maybe I'm have to get another one just like this so that I have matching ones. Um, but I did some work on this. You can see it's. Nicely painted, and this is pretty. At least the coin box is. This is a completely repainted coin box. It had a bunch of scuffs and marks all over this coin box. It needs the keys, yes. Um, and it seems they already put a scuff in it already, somehow. I don't know how that happened. But if you could focus on it, you could see. It probably, there you go. Somehow there's a scuff on it. But it's a. Uh, this was com I completely repainted. The it was it was kind of like a color like that. I didn't get it completely painted because you know. It was I did it indoors and I didn't have all the time in the world to do it. But I also filled in some areas with the putty. It doesn't look the greatest, but I mean it was better than having a big hole there. As well as there was a hole here you can kind of see. And I kind of tried to, to up, touch it up in places. This is all painted right here. This whole front was repainted. Over here is repainted. You can see, I mean, it's not perfect, but this is all repainted. It used to have a bunch of splat marks all over here and a bunch of scuffs. And it had a big gash right here. You can probably see it's where I puttied it in. So, I, I mean, it's a little better than what it was. Um, and there was a gash back here that I puttied in. It's all repainted up to there. This is repainted as well. I mean, I, one day I'd like to just completely sand this down, and and I gotta get a new um, overlay up there. You can see it's cracked, and this is repainted as well. So it looks a lot nicer than it, what it was when I bought it. Um, so that's the MVS. Here's inside it. 
And the lights all work. I mean, I can plug it in. Hold on. All right. Turn off the light now. You can hear it. There you go. You see the lights are on on it. When I bought it, the lights didn't work. It was a bit of issue. The bulbs were burnt, and something was weird with the wiring. I had to go through and make sure she was working, but she works now. The TV on it, the display, is kind of not the greatest. As you can see, it makes these weird lines, and it takes a bit to get going, but it works. It's got these lines on it, as you can see there. And then when it switches between some of the games, it goes like zooms out and then in, and it's kind of strange. It needs some works work in that um, kind of uh, in that way. Um, also, the bezel around the screen is gone. I need to fix that. There you go. As you can see it's playing a Fatal Fury special. Yeah. And it needs new uh, locks up there as well. But there you go. Ugh. There she is. As well as there's an additional PlayStation 3 right here. I believe this is almost exactly like mine. Uh, this one's currently being repaired, so. They have three PS3s in my room at this very moment. So, I believe that's the only uh, other video game related thing I got around. Um, that'd be about it. So, there's the all my video related stuff and a tour of all my consoles. Um, and hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully I should get this thing up, uh, edited and uploaded sometime soon. So, adios.